Pledging to bring justice to the victims of 9-11, Attorney General Eric Holder declared that accused mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed would stand trial at the scene of the crimes. In a courthouse just blocks away from where the Twin Towers once stood. But with mounting political pressure, the Obama administration is now strongly considering moving the trial from Manhattan to a more remote location. New York officials say it would cost more than $200 million a year to secure a half square mile zone around the federal courthouse in lower Manhattan. Up to 3,000 barriers would restrict traffic. Sniper teams would be positioned on rooftops with heavily armed police in the streets. And it would turn that entire lower Manhattan area basically into an occupation zone. They'd be living under martial law. Now, leaders in both parties have joined New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg in pressing the White House to reconsider. My hope is that the uh, Attorney General uh, uh, and the president decide to change their mind. That's the federal courthouse. And public opposition is also growing. Retired New York City firefighter Tim Brown can't stand the idea of giving terrorists a propaganda platform near ground zero. You're going to allow these scum to mock America, to mock the families, to mock the hero firefighters and police officers and civilian heroes uh, who were killed that day. Now, sources say the White House has clearly heard the clamor and is now mulling over other possibilities. Katie? And, Bob, when will the decision be made about where the trial will be held? Well, my gut feeling is it's going to be pretty soon, possibly Hampton Roads, Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia, a couple of alternatives maybe. But it's clear the White House wants to move on here, Katie. All right. Bob, we're in Washington as always. Thank you.